Hey everybody, what's going on there? Uh, I'm back from my trip, so I'm in the process of cleaning out the van and whatnot, and I just uh, emptied out the fridge, freezer, got it thawed out, dried out, and cleaned up, and I thought I'd uh, show it to you real quick. Uh, it's been in constant use for two months, it worked really great. Uh, once on my trip, I had to uh, defrost it because of the frost build up in the freezer, but other than that, it's been working really well. Oh, get up. And inside it's got two sides, a uh, freezer on the left with a cover, and a fridge section on the right. It also has an area over here which doesn't get really cold, but it's good for keeping stuff like mustard, ketchup, you know, condiments, stuff like that that don't really need to be cold. I bought this uh, ice cube tray. I use that with my cold cuts, cheeses, stuff like that, and I just put it in here on top of the milk, the juice, all the stuff I really want, my meats that I really want to keep cold. And that way when I want to access the stuff on the bottom, I can lift this whole tray out in one shot and access the bottom. So that works really well. One of the biggest problems I had and was a concern in the beginning was finding an ice cube tray. The regular house size ones just didn't fit in here. I found these in, I think it was the Family Dollar Store, and these just make it. As a matter of fact, it's so tight that it'll stay where I put it. So getting it down in there full of water, you got to squeeze it and push it down. But it does get in there, and uh, I mastered doing that without spilling it. Uh, another feature of these here, that obviously the best is lift out. Once the baskets are out, this center wall here comes out also. There's a drain plug down the bottom. And in this configuration like this, with the wall out, it can be all one big refrigerator or all one big freezer. So you have that dual capability as well. Fridge freezer or fridge or freezer. Uh, it's held, held temperature really well. I had no problem with it uh, keeping things frozen. The uh, freezer side kept things very frozen, no problem at all. It had nothing to throw. I had uh, ice pops in there, fudge pops, ice cream, uh, ice cubes on the bottom, no problem at all. So it really works well. One of the biggest things I liked about it was the, uh, the quiet level. It's very quiet. You can barely hear it kicking in at night when you're sleeping. It's dead quiet in the forest. Uh, I'm very pleased with that. I was afraid that uh, it would keep me up at night. But it's a nice quiet unit. So, after using it for uh, two months straight, I highly recommend the Dometic fridge. And uh, if you're looking for one, don't hesitate to buy one. It's, it's well made. Well constructed, runs well, nice quiet unit. Power draw isn't too bad. It's actually less than they say in their specs. I think in their specs they say about four uh, amp hours. I find it runs between two and four, more towards three or slightly below depending on uh, ambient temperatures and whatnot. So the draw on it isn't that bad. Um, I'm gonna do a review of my solar system and how much uh, capacity I have and how uh, the refrigerator works on that in the near future as well, so look forward to that too. All right, so uh, now one thing I can show you is right now I have my bed collapsed and my motorcycle out. So you can just see all the room in here right now with the bed unfolded and the bike out. I can actually walk around in here standing up and uh, it's pretty nice. I, I really love the high top. I was, uh, I was concerned about the high top when I first got it for uh, clearance in the forest and I did not have any problems. There was only one spot in the forest where uh, the overhead clearance was a problem and that's because I was down the wrong road. It was actually a logging road that wasn't in use and it was overgrown and I had to uh, turn around and get out of there. Other than that, uh, no problem with the clearance. So if you're thinking of a high top and worried about the clearance, don't worry about it. The, the luxury of the high top is much more beneficial than not having it. So go for it. All right, that's all I got for now until I uh, publish the uh, video on the uh, solar, which maybe I'll do this week, and uh, keep you informed of what's going on. All right, so I'll uh, see you soon.